This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 118. Are you depressed? How to Recover the Natural Way by Mary Yuksh of goodlifezen.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. Hello. Life Optimizers. I'm Justin Mollick, and this is Optimal Living Daily, also known as OLD. It's been a while since I've read from Mary Yuksh of Good Life Zen, so I'm back today with a post from her, the Zen master herself, and this one is about recovering naturally from depression. I know some of you struggle with depression, and I'm hoping this post can give you a little hope and encouragement. And I just want to say thank you today to you listening to this podcast right now. So without you, I wouldn't have a reason to do this, even for myself, because I'd be reading to no one, which wouldn't have the same effect on my social anxiety. So again, thank you. Thank you for supporting this show and also my spinoff, Optimal Finance Daily. I truly appreciate it, and I hope to keep this up for a very long time. And that's it for the intro today. Let's start optimizing your life. Are you depressed? How to Recover the Natural Way by Mary Yaksh of goodlifezen.com. Depression is insidious. You can slip into it without noticing, but you can also climb out again. Most people have experienced at least a touch of depression at some time or other. I certainly have. In this post, I list 10 things that have helped me overcome periods of depression without taking antidepressants. Are you depressed or just feeling low? Depression is a word we use in everyday language to describe a number of feelings, including sadness, frustration, disappointment, and lethargy. However, I'm talking about clinical depression here. It differs from everyday lows in three significant ways. Clinical depression is more intense. Clinical depression lasts longer, two weeks or more. And clinical depression significantly interferes with effective day-to-day functioning. Most doctors prescribe antidepressants for clinical but medication often only addresses the symptoms and not the cause of depression. However, if you are suffering from serious depression, medication is crucial for your well-being. I want to show you how to heal from depression using natural means. The information I offer is aimed at those with light to medium depression. If you've been given medication, please continue to take it. The following 10-step strategy will speed your recovery, whether you're on medication or not. What are the signs of depression? Here's a checklist which will help you see if you're depressed. The symptom will vary from person to person and also depend on the severity of your condition. Number one, do you suffer from low energy or fatigue? Number two, do you feel hopeless, negative, or pessimistic? Number three, do you have persistent, sad, anxious, or flat moods? Number four, do you have difficulty concentrating, remembering, or making decisions? Number five, do you suffer from recurring feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or helplessness? Number six, have you lost pleasure in hobbies and activities that you once enjoyed, including Number seven, do you suffer from sleep disturbances such as insomnia, early morning waking, or oversleeping? Number eight, have your eating habits changed, resulting in weight loss or weight gain? Number nine, do you suffer from restlessness or irritability? Ten, do you have thoughts of self-harm? If you answered yes to some of the questions above, you may be suffering from depression. Depression varies in severity. It may be that you're feeling low and are just hovering on the edge of clinical depression or that you're suffering a mild to moderate form of depression. Note, if you have thoughts of self-harm, you need to seek immediate medical help. Most medical practitioners suggest antidepressant medication and counseling. Both can be beneficial, but there are also some natural ways to counter a mild to medium depression. 10 Steps to Recover from Depression Number one, acknowledge depression to yourself and others. To acknowledge depression can be extremely hard, especially if you see yourself as a strong and decisive person. One of the practical difficulties of suffering from depression is that you may feel unable to continue with some commitments you've made. Let your colleagues or friends know that you'll have to take a couple of steps back until you're feeling better. They may be able to come up with solutions that will help take the load off your shoulders. Number two, use a powerful natural remedy. St. John's wort, Hypericum, is a roadside weed that has been used for centuries to treat a variety of disorders. It's a mood lifter and is an excellent remedy for mild to moderate depression. There has been some discussion about its efficacy, 
A research project comparing the effectiveness of St. John's wort with the antidepressant amipramine came to the following conclusion in the British Medical Journal. Quote, Hypericum perforatum extract is therapeutically equivalent to amipramine in treating mild to moderate depression, but patients tolerate hypericum better. You can get some over-the-counter preparations of St. John's wort at your local drugstore or pharmacy. Number three, step up your exercise. Regular exercise releases feel-good brain chemicals, neurotransmitters and endorphins, that may ease depression. Exercise has been found to work as well as medications, but may take longer to take effect. I recommend vigorous walking or slow running. If you have a heart rate monitor, try and stay more or less at 15% below your maximum heart rate. Your maximum heart rate is 220 beats per minute minus your age. Translated into action, 15% below your maximum heart rate may equate to a purposeful but moderate uphill walk or a fast walk on the flat. Your breathing should still be easy. Try to exercise at least every second day. Number four, use nutrition. Are you following a diet that helps you to combat depression? There are some essential foodstuffs that can help you to recover your well-being. Omega-3s. Research shows that foods rich in B vitamins and omega-3s may boost your mood. Make sure that you consume enough omega-3s by eating two servings of seafood per week or by taking fish oil supplements. Salmon, tuna, and trout are excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Folates. Many people who suffer from depression are deficient in folate, a type of B vitamin. Natural food sources of folate are liver, spinach, papaya, lentils, avocados, raspberries, black-eyed peas, red bell peppers, beans, broccoli, greens, and orange juice. Iron. Lack of iron, or anemia, is said to contribute to depression. Natural food sources of iron include meat, lentils, beans, and leafy green vegetables. Selenium. A 1991 study published in Biological Psychiatry suggests that lower levels of selenium in the diet correlate with anxiety, depression, and tiredness. Natural food sources of selenium include fish, Brazil nuts, beef and turkey, garlic, and whole grains. What to avoid? It's important to stay off alcohol if you're feeling depressed. Alcohol is a depressant and will lower your mood, even though it may feel good initially. 5. Improve sleep. If you are depressed, you are likely to suffer from a sleep disorder. It may be that you feel exhausted when you go to bed but can't get to sleep, or you wake up in the early hours and can't get back to sleep again. Personally, I use a combination of three sleep strategies. One, use a sleep hypnosis recording created by John Rhodes. Two, use an eye shade or block out light with thick curtains. Three, use melatonin in order to reset the body clock. Number six, enjoy a massage. Besides being physically relaxing, massage may also cause the body to produce fewer stress hormones and may also increase the body's production of feel-good endorphins and the mood-altering hormone serotonin. Number seven, light. Natural sunlight seems to work best for people who have seasonal depression, called SAD, or seasonal affective disorder. In fact, extra sunlight can help all forms of depression. Make sure you go out into the sun for a few minutes whenever it shines. If you live in a climate with little sunshine or find yourself depressed in the winter months, you may want to invest in a solar simulator. It's a special lamp that simulates sunshine. Number eight, unburden yourself. If you're feeling low, talk to a good friend. Friends can often spot if there's an imbalance in your life. You might also consider consulting a counselor or psychotherapist. Deep down, we know what's bothering us and what would help us to heal. Talking to a trusted person can help you to access your own wisdom. Number nine, reduce stress. One of the main factors that can precipitate depression is stress. Take a step back and refocus your life. Think of ways you can get others to lighten your load. Can you push out the looming deadline? Can someone help you with a task that's getting you down? Can you delegate or team up with someone? Number 10, meditate. Learning to focus the mind can be beneficial when you're trying to recover from depression. Meditation helps to control negative thinking, such as thoughts spiraling into failure or worthlessness. Meditation can also work directly on your mood. In my experience, meditation can work wonders for people suffering from depression, but you need to know exactly how to use meditation to recover from depression, otherwise it can make things worse. To be on the safe side, practice walking meditation. You just listened to the post titled, Are You Depressed? How to Recover the Natural Way by Mary Yuksh of GoodLifeZen.com. So just a little disclaimer, if you're considering ingestibles like St. John's wort or something like that mentioned in this article, 
please, please, please do your research and talk to a doctor because there can be side effects. So I was really reading this article for the other things like meditation and light and stress and all that stuff. One thing that I don't get enough of is light for sure. I'm kind of nocturnal again lately. I always go through this cycle of staying up later and later until I'm getting up at like 5 p.m. And then I figure I should just keep sleeping later and later until I'm waking up at a normal time. And I call that sleep cycling. Definitely don't recommend it because it'll make you a little loopy. And I actually don't want to do it. I'm just hoping I can get back the normal way, which is to get up a little earlier and earlier each day, but it's so tiring. But enough about me. If you'd like to get a bunch of free stuff from me and be entered to win a book every single month, you can join the OLD family for free. It's super easy to join. Just text the word OPTIMAL to the number 44222. That's OPTIMAL to 44222. Or you can visit me online at oldpodcast.com and join there. You'll get an awesome Excel spreadsheet that I built for you myself, plus a video tutorial that I made to go along with it. And they both come to you immediately once you join. So again, just visit me online at oldpodcast.com or text OPTIMAL to 44222. And that's it for today. Tomorrow is normally Financial Friday, but I don't know. I've been thinking that with the launch of Optimal Finance Daily, I'd rather save the really great post for that podcast. So I might read something from one of my typical financial authors, but read a post that isn't necessarily about money. And if you want to hear about money, you can listen to Optimal Finance Daily. I don't know. We'll see. So stay tuned tomorrow and I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together will optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.